Hi there, my name is Sanjeev and I'm the founder of World Robotics League. I'm starting this uh, new series of video blogs uh, to showcase some tips and tricks to educate people about robotics, uh, what exists, what can you do with the various available material and what might be a great path and great experience for your children out there. Obviously, we started World Robotics League, a competition based on robotics for grade school children and beyond primarily so that we could implement our philosophy and get our philosophy to a variety of folks out there. So uh, we can cover that in a later video. Today I just wanted to go over one of the key questions that parents entering the world of robotics often face, which is should I go with the Lego based robotics or sh is there another option or should I go with the VEX based robotics if the parents already know about the VEX based robotics. So that's the question that we are going to try and handle today. So first of all, uh, what is Lego based robotics and what is VEX based robotics? So what I'm saying about Lego based robotics, let's let's take that first. Uh, we are going to go with the uh, we're going to go with the Lego EV3 robot, this robot over here. This robot is an extremely popular uh, robot uh, created by Lego at a time when uh, robotics for uh, kids education was not necessarily a thing. They almost single handedly started uh, kids robotics. Uh, and made it available to pretty much everyone without too much skill. So they started with this uh, Lego based robotics. What this is, is a, uh, is a full on computer. It runs Linux uh, and it has uh, motors that can be controlled uh, by software. They can be controlled down to the degree saying, hey, we can, uh, we can move the motor 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 100 degrees, whatever. So being able to make that kind of uh, facility that is uh, being able to run a motor uh, with that pan, uh, kind of control is something pretty unique when uh, Lego came up with it. So they built their Lego robots and released this uh, in many forms and eventually the most recent form is EV3. They have, we understand that there is a new version called uh, Spike Prime, we will cover it in a later video. But we still feel that EV3 is uh, the stronger of the two. two. Uh, it has more capabilities and the parts are all interchangeable between the Spike Prime and EV3. So we're just going to go with the Lego EV3. Uh, just by a point of contrast, uh, let me show you a VEX robot. This here is a VEX robot. It is built by a company called uh, VEX and they started with the idea that they wanted to have uh, uh, robots in education and primarily for a competition that they run called uh, VEX IQ competition. So they built this robot and on the face of it, if you look at the two uh, together, the bricks kind of seem similar. Like there is a little LCD screen uh, that uh, shows information, displays information, and there are buttons that allow you to uh, allow to do, uh, manipulate various uh, options on the bricks. I do understand both of these robots are programmable, as in you can, uh, you can uh, start your laptop or uh, computer, install the programming environment on their programming ID and then connect uh, to these uh, via whatever, whatever methods are available. Like on Lego, you actually have Bluetooth as well as a cable, whereas on VEX, you only have a cable. There is no wireless option, at least for uh, this robot. But uh, that being said, that's a minor detail. Uh, both of them can be programmed. So on the face of it, uh, they seem similar. Then what's the big uh, big deal? Why Lego versus VEX? And one of this is one of the things that parents really struggle with, especially given Lego is something that, the, that most kids, uh, at least here in the United States, are familiar with, right? Everybody can. Uh, everybody has seen some version of Lego or the other. Uh, Lego is uh, super popular. Uh, kids love Lego. Lego comes in many, many colors. They come in small models for like you know couple of dollars to all the way to couple hundred dollars. Uh, and most of these bricks are interchangeable. As in, you can take uh, elements, structural elements uh, like uh, this one over here. This is called a Technic piece uh, from any system that or any any uh, mechanism that Lego has built and use it in another one. So they have a very, very comprehensive system. We love Lego, right? Uh, because they also put a ton of research in how easy or difficult it is for uh, kids to uh, work with these. And Lego has this motto saying, a four-year uh, four year old should be able to build most of the mechanisms. They have higher age ratings as well, but one of the guiding philosophies, a four-year old uh, should be able to uh, manipulate these objects and attach or detach them with the kind of strength and dexterity that they have. So we love Lego that way. Uh, on the other hand, like if you look at VEX, right? Uh, our experience and others may disagree, but our experience has been that uh, VEX is a bit harder for uh, younger kids to actually manipulate the structural pieces. Uh, so uh, if you are looking for experience, pure experience and not worrying about competitions, then VEX actually works out quite well. Uh, we love VEX for that, uh, that like, you know, their, their competitive pieces pretty well, but their structural pieces are not the same polish as Lego. Then why bother? Like, you know, why even go with Le uh, Lego? Well, one of the things is uh, 
your kid may be just familiar, right? So getting into robotics via Lego is something that they might just be excited about. So you might just come out and say, okay, I'm gonna, like no matter what the outcome, I'm gonna have my kid uh, go via the Lego option simply because uh, one, they're interested and I might already have all this material. On the other hand, in the VEX world, you might not have all the material. Uh, that's one of the key things, right? Uh, but when you look at the competitive landscape in the United States over here, we have two competitions that uh, focus on uh, focus on robotics for children using these two kids. One is known as uh, one is run by an organization called First, and First uses exclusively Lego for uh, grade uh, I would say grades about uh, three to all the way to eight. Uh, and then uh, uh, these uh, Vex IQ folks or Vex folks also target the same grade between three and um, three and about eight. But uh, the organization that runs the Lego competition or Lego robot based competition, I shouldn't say Lego competition, uh, they don't treat robotics as a first class citizen. They treat robotics as a should, would be nice to have. Their, their primary goal is uh, like, you know, do a bunch of science research projects, uh, do a bunch of teamwork and so on. So robotics comes as a side study and a bunch of folks actually don't necessarily like that. If I am going into it with my kid, I want them to be technically superior and be graded on that, not necessarily on teamwork, for which I can take them elsewhere. It's a very valid philosophy uh, by first, but not necessarily something that I subscribe to. If you look at VEX on the other hand, yes, their uh, hardware seems a bit uh, uh, less polished than Lego. But one, there are a couple of advantages. One is like, you know, think about this one. This is a structural piece with which you build a robot. This is something that Lego builds. It's a, it's pretty decent, but it's fairly small, right? So if I want to build a very big structure, then I need tons and tons and tons of these parts. And as you start putting these in a fairly long or large mechanism, they start needing a bunch of support. Otherwise the entire mechanism will waver and sway and not be super stable. On the other hand, VEX builds pieces like this. This is not even the largest one. This is one of the, one of the, I would say kind of on the larger side, but not necessarily the largest uh, structure piece. If you compare them side to side, this is very large. So if you're trying to build a mechanism that does a performs uh, tasks that require a, a lot of reach, then VEX inherently and naturally wins out there uh, simply because they have larger parts. We understand that with Spike Prom, Lego has created some bigger parts, but they're still nowhere on the on the scale of uh, on VEX. That, that's one of the things. The second is uh, some of the younger kids, uh, they are not familiar with programming and they wouldn't necessarily be familiar with programming because it's harder to teach programming at very grand young grades. Like say three, four, it's a little bit harder. So VEX uh, gives a, a joystick control based option, gamepad based option. Uh, the robot actually comes with this thing and you can control the robot. Unfortunately, in the Lego world, there is no joystick, there's no control. Like some may complain, oh, we uh, that's saying that Lego actually has an infrared controller. Unfortunately, that is uh, very limited. It can control only two motors. So you can have a robot that moves, goes forward, backward and turns around, but it cannot do anything else because you are only convening to control two motors. And also the form factor of that uh, joystick is not necessarily very, uh, very nice. So that way VEX wins out. One, structural parts, they are bigger. Although their structural parts are less, po less polished, but they are bigger so you can build uh, bigger mechanisms very easily. Second, they do have a joystick. And third, their competition is a lot fairer. As in, their competition is primarily focused on robotics and robotics only, and very little on everything else. So that is one of the quick and uh, dirty summary of uh, what, it, uh, what a uh, Lego robot looks like versus what a VEX robot looks like, and why you may want to select one versus the other. Uh, in an in, in upcoming series of videos, we will also uh, attack or uh, take a look at the Spike Prime uh, robot and further depth into each of these competitions, what it takes to win and how uh, being part of World Robotics League will actually help you get there. Thank you for watching. See you next time.